your question was, um, what excites me the most as I witness this shift towards a place-based local economy, and, and there's just so much. I come from the U.S., though I live in Canada now, and my, my husband calls it the United States of Generica. And it really, I think this has hit Canada as well. We're not immune from it here, that there are so many places that are soulless and characterless. You could be anywhere. You don't really have a sense of place. So growing up in many places like that, it, it's, it's hard not to feel generic yourself. So I'm excited to see a real shift away from that in, uh, in many places all over the world. And, and one of the, the things that, that stands out, a small thing, but it's, it's, uh, it's bigger than it appears, is just the language that we use. I, I'm hearing more and more new vocabulary like place and placemaking and the commons and the language of local living economies and, and generativity, thrivability. These are, are terms that weren't considered valid in conversations about economics, about economies, uh, 10 and 20 years ago. So it's exciting that we're able to use these new words, and, and that shows us how much uh, we are painting a bigger picture, as you said, Michael. We, we really can't imagine that bigger picture without the language to describe it, without the, the concept to imagine what more is possible. So just the language alone is exciting. And then as I see how um, the, the bigger picture is being lived out, I'm really excited at how much diversity there is, that um, there's a spirit of prototyping and playfulness and improvisation that I think is really characteristic of life. Life improvises. and and and. Uh, Play is one of the core characteristics that defines us as mammals, and, and both of those, improvising and play, and, and, and beauty were absent in the story that we're moving away from. So I'm excited to see how much uh, different communities and different people are finding ways to express their, their gifts based on the place where they find themselves and how it shapes them, how it shapes their, their shared story, and how it shapes each of us as individuals. And, mm -hmm. I, and I'm excited to see how all of this come together to uh, make people, help people come alive with their own possibilities. So you, you really see, I see in many different communities a sense of greater aliveness and potential and, and joy and, and thriving, really. So lots to be excited about. Wow, <laughs> that's lovely. Thank you. Tolu, I know that you've been enchanting people through cleaning. <laughs> it's fascinating. Uh, and, and how cleaning itself can be a craft. And what is it that excites you about that? that uh, and what possibilities are you seeing? I mean, I'm, I'm very excited about many things happening around cleaning. Um, uh, many things happening around these ships that we're, that we're witnessing. I mean, the first thing that came to mind is that we're, we're noticing more, we're paying more attention. Um, and talking about being local, being place-based, um, for me it has to do with how can we becoming more present in the here and now. And that, that happened for me with cleaning and looking at cleaning as a kind of place, but also just seeing it as much more than what um, what I'm looking at as this chore kind of thing, but seeing the beauty in it. The, the fact that we're moving more towards seeing beauty, even when we may be looking at ugliness. We're moving more towards just being present with each other. You know, the idea of local, for me, is being here now. Um, but it's not just witnessing and noticing what's happening around us but it's noticing what's happening with Venus and being at home with our inner experience, our inner world, you know, um, which is leading us to see things differently. So, I mean, for example, to see things like cleaning differently and to be able to represent it in a way that um, connects with everything else, you know, um, and act I'm excited that you know, where, like Michelle said, our language is shifting. So we're coming back, I think, to what is timeless and always true. 
you know, we're using more elemental languages, you know, like place, you know, rootedness, you know, um, and realizing that these, um, it's like these are fundamentals that we can hold on to, regardless of our advancements in technology and all. When we're in a place, we seek to make that place comfortable. We seek to care for it. So we are all understanding that. So there are many things that are exciting for me. It's this shift into what is elemental, this opening of our hearts to, to beauty in everything that we see around us and within us too.